Hello, friends. It's Crafty Mama. Hope you are all having a fabulous day. Today, I'm going to use my yo-yo maker, my fabric yo-yo maker, for the first time and give it a shot. So I have the Clover Quick Yo-Yo Maker. This is in the extra large size. I got this a while back, but haven't used it yet. Wanted to give it a shot, try it. It's about four and a half by four and a half inches round, but it makes two and three eighths inches of the yo-yos, fabric yo-yos. And there's a UPC in case you wanted to know what UPC number it was. Should you want to get one yourself? And there's basic instructions on the back. So the supplies today we need is a yo-yo maker or not. You could do these by hand. I have this pretty pale blue thread here, which I love this thread right here, which is like multicolored, different threads all on one little uh, thread base there. I also have this cute, adorable little tiny pair of scissors to do like, you know, thread snips or whatever. I will also use a needle threader because I will never get the thread through the eye at the needle. My eyes are a little older and my hands not great at getting it through a tiny hole. I have this striped fabric that has like a little glitter shine to it. I also have this vintage look floral fabric and they are all like scrap pieces of fabric. So this is perfect thing to use them for can put them to good use. So I'm going to open the package and we're going to take a look inside at what comes in this package. And let me pull it out and we will take a look and see what we think about what they give you in the package when you do purchase this yo-yo maker. And they come in different sizes. They have a lot of different sizes. I think this is, I believe this is the biggest size that they do carry. And, uh, I just got it, like I said, for the fun of it, I was thinking it could make a lot of neat things. So here's the instructions on the inside, which is great. They give you the finished size of the yo-yo when you're done and the fabric size that you need. You can cut it too if you want, which I think is great. They even tell you how much thread you need for a single thread stitch. You just use single thread and cut suitable fabrics, unsuitable fabrics. That's really great. I did not know they told you inside because I was wondering about that, especially about the thread part. And uh, let's see what else. Does it say anything? Oh, shows you. I mean, they got it in different languages, of course, but it shows you a few projects right here as well that you can do with fabric yo-yos. So that's pretty neat. I like that they give you all this. And then they also give you an instruction sheet, which shows you even more little things you can do with the fabric yo-yos, like making the flowers with them, which I think is neat. And then step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. Looks like there's a lot, but trust me, this is really simple. I watch videos myself on it. It's not as complicated as it looks. So we're going to start out and I'm going to use my, uh, you know, needle threader here. And what you do for a needle threader, in case you never use one, is you take the little diamond shaped prong of it and you stick it through the hole in the needle, which is a lot easier, trust me, than sticking the thread through that little hole. And then as you can see, my needle is dangling off it and you can see the little diamond shape sticking out. And all you do is you put you th your thread through the middle of the diamond shape. And then you want to leave a couple of inches hanging on the other side because what you're going to do is you're going to pull the needle through and do it gentle because you might pull it off but you can really easy put it back on because you got the needle threader if you have one you don't have to have one some of you may be really good at threading needles and there you see quick and easy it threaded that needle no muss no fuss and saves on my eyes and my frustration yay if there's an easier and quicker way to do something i believe in taking advantage of it so now I'm just going to take the bottom end of my thread that the needle's on, wrap it around a few times on my finger, kind of roll it a little bit and pull it into a little ball, which forms my knot at the end of my thread, of course. That's how I do it. And here I have the two pieces of the yo-yo maker. There's like a little grid one that's on top, the darker yellow. And I'm calling the bottom one like a little plate, the one with the hole in it. So you have those two pieces and what you would do now you can pre-cut your material i did not you don't have to pre-cut it like i said i'm using uh strange 
shapes or strange, uh, you know, little pieces of fabric. So you just put your fabric and you put it face down or wrong side up onto the big plate part and you're going to line it up. There's little grooves. I'm trying to show you where my finger is. There's little grooves on the bigger plate, the bottom, and you're going to line those up with the, as you see, the little arrows or the little marks on the top of the plate. And there's a reason for that. It's very simple to do. You just got to look for a second. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but this aligns your holes. And then you're going to press down. And I don't think you can hear it in the video, but you will hear a snap to know that it's in. You will hear a snap when you got it pressed down correctly. And then what you would do is just cut around your fabric. You can leave a half inch. I'm probably going to leave about a quarter inch. You don't have to be perfect at this. It doesn't have to look great. You're not going to see it. It gets caught up into the yo-yo uh, when you pull the strings on it at the end. You'll see what I mean when we finish up in just a couple uh, moments here. But I'm cutting all the way around. And that's easy too. As you can see, just cut it off. And there you go. There is what it looks like. The two pieces together. The fabric sandwiched in between. You can see the little hole on the bottom of the plate part. Then you just start sewing. You start going through the holes back and forth, in and out. And it, the reason this is, makes it so easy to make yo-yos is you can't mess it up. It's impossible. You go in the hole, you go out the hole. You go in the hole, you go out the hole. And the stitches just form perfectly using this yo-yo maker. And that's it. You just keep going around. And like I said, it's pretty simple. So I kind of got this, as you can see, going pretty fast in the video. I was taking my time, of course, doing it. I actually enjoy sewing. I sewed a lot of things by hand when my kids were growing up, curtains and different things like that. Well, now I'm done sewing. What you do is you take your finger and you push through the back, through the hole, and then very carefully and gently take it off your plate. It's not really stuck. It's just the first time I'm taking it off here. I'm just trying to be gentle. And then you take your thread and you gently, and I know it might look like I'm a little up here, but you gently pull it. You don't want to break your thread. It's a single strand. I, w I was doing it pretty gentle. And you're going to do it until it starts forming your yo-yo. And then as you're forming it, you kind of want to, you know, fix it, fluff it, make it look how you want it to look. So it looks, yeah, you know, like this, <laughs> like a yo-yo. I don't know what else to say there. And I like how it looks. It's it's looking as good as I want. So now I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to sew the opening closed. I am not sewing through to the back side. All you're doing is sewing up the little opening. And that's what I'm doing. Making sure it's secure. Sewing it all up all around the edges. So that it stays closed. And you can see the yo-yo. And I look like I got everything tangled up here. Which I think for a second I did. <laughs> but it all works out in the end. Trust me. And I'm going to finish up, like I said, just going around there, making sure it's all secure, all the little parts are staying down. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to tie it up. As you will see, just kind of tying up the loose ends, cut the thread. There you go. There's a yo-yo. Look, came out all good. Now you can decorate these with buttons or bling or faux pearls. I've got a green button that might look good because there's green in it. I have a pretty blue one with like a flower accent. I have this pink one. I think I like the pink one best. Now I did find out that there are five sizes of these round ones. They also come in shapes like hearts, flowers, and more. I do hope you enjoyed this video of watching me make fabric yo-yos. Maybe you'll want to try your hand in making some yourself. As always, I thank you for stopping by and watching Crafty Mama. I wish you the best day ever. Until next time, next video. Bye.